this short lecture will be on how to change your materials using Creo 4.0 and edit the materials. Some of this has been changed from the previous versions of Creo. I just opened up an, actually a quite an old part and I'm going to click on my file and go to prepare and the traditional method of putting a material on is to change it here in the materials property. Now one thing you'll notice is we have our legacy materials which are the ones that have been around for a while and the other one is the new materials which are divided up into types. We'll just click on this you can see them. So that's one new thing that they added is this standard materials. Now that's the traditional way of getting at the material and setting it up. I'm going to um, cancel this and instead close this out. I'm going to go click on the part in the model tree, right mouse button, edit materials. This will bring us into the same place as the old method. And in this case here, I think we'll go into our new choices here. And let's say we decide to pick um, an alloy, double click. It'll put it down here in the materials field. And let's put in a couple more. I'm trying to think of one of them. How about this one? Okay. So you'll see that it gathers up these materials, but the one with the arrow will be the one that is the default now that's been assigned. You can see it over here. It's been assigned. You still have your traditional information available in the tabs, but you can collect more than one material. I'm going to click on OK and open it up in the model tree and model tree filters I always like to turn everything on in this case the materials are going to show up automatically so we have our materials available in the model tree and you can see only one of them has been selected you can right mouse button you can assign it directly here this time you can also delete it so if you don't want that one in the list of options you can get rid of it here click on info it'll give you the information on the material so right from the model tree we have the options of going and getting our material setting the material assigning it etc rather than always having to go back into the traditional method which is under the model properties